I tell Tony, you pick the right job. Today we're talking about Matt Rule's press conference where he gets into Tony White um, and his future, uh, preparing for Iowa and among other good things. So stick around. Hey, what's up? My name is Logan Merrick, and uh, this is Logan Merrick Talks. I talk all things Husker football. So if you love the Huskers as much as I do, consider subscribing because here all I want to do is create community that helps commiserate and celebrate our Huskers. All right, so in this press conference, I just want to say first and foremost, I love Matt Rule, huge fan. I think he's taking the the um, football team in the right direction. I think he's really building a community. I think he's really building a team. I think he's building greatness. I think he's uh, developing guys that we ha- we haven't seen that in years. I mean, just think about this. Chubba Purdy, he talks about this in the press conference, but Chubba Purdy and Emmett Johnson – they were the scout team for Minnesota. And here they are both starting against Wisconsin. What does that tell you? And we saw Chubba Purdy last year. And then we saw him now. We've seen him this year. Man, what a difference. What a difference. Now, so in this in this press conference, he goes into a lot of good things. And so I want to go ahead and get that started right now. And so here he is being asked about Tony White. I mean, how do you, how do you advise your assistants? It's a good problem to have when you have assistants that are on hot boards. And go get a job. How do you advise them to handle it while the season's still going on? Go get a job. I, I told Tony. I mean, search firm called me, asked for Tony's number. I said, yes, you should hire Tony White. Tony White should be a head coach. He's excellent. So they're calling, and we all figured that they would be. Uh, we're seeing it out on Twitter. Um, but I love that Matt Rule is like, hey, you know what? I don't want to hold anyone back. And, and he says, he goes on to talk about, I advise Tony, hey, just to get, go get a job. Don't take the wrong one. And he's telling him, this is what you should be looking at. So they're calling. And if Tony White leaves, that's okay. I mean, I'll be sad along with the rest of Husker Nation. But at the same time, the dude's deserved it. He's earned it. He's a great coach. And if he decides to stay, man, awesome. But we'll be in the same place next year because he's such a good coach. And he's not going to be here forever. But... I, I love hearing that our coach is like, you know what? I'm not scared of that. I'm not scared of people like my coaches getting promotions and getting and getting better positions and better jobs and yada yada. Like, like that's all that's fantastic. And I love that he he supports them. And I think he also knows he's got some guys coming up behind Tony White that he can go out and get uh, or or promote. Like he wants to see those guys promote too. I mean, he talks about the other assistants. He's like, I got other guys that can be coordinators and right now, be head coaches right now. We've got a great coach and staff, Husker Nation. We should celebrate that. I, and I know you guys agree. And then, last but not least, so what about what about the game, the way that it ended? He's asked at the end, and I love his response. Hey, so what about you know what do you how do you guys kind of navigate now? Uh, um, I can't remember who asked the question. Um, but what what do you what do you guys? do in the in the off season to kind of navigate um in the end of the game situations and and coach roll has the most hilarious response timeouts how you work clock management just the stuff that you guys do so that when you get in those moments that the you're prepared and i'll be frank i'm assuming you're you're referring like i probably should have called the timeout earlier right no i'd rather i'd rather address it directly than not you know as as i said after the game you know, for me, it was really important in that game that um, I gave the def- that I gave the defense a chance to win the game. You know, because too many times we haven't given the defense a chance to win the game. So when you look at it from an outsider's perspective, and you haven't seen the Minnesota ending, you haven't seen the ending last week. Yeah, you know, from a pr- from a traditional perspective, I completely understand it um, because we had missed one earlier, because we have a freshman kicker, because it was cold, because of all those different things. You know, I wanted to make sure I got the ball down in a certain area. Um, I also didn't want to kick because we didn't get that third down. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to give them the ball with 40 seconds left because if you go back to last week, what happened? They went down and they kicked a field goal. Mm-hmm. So um, I didn't want to throw an interception in the end zone. I mean, you know I'm saying I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I, I wanted to be conservative and get the first down. Make sure we had the first down. Not give them time to go on and kick it. Kick the field goal. I thought we were playing really well on defense and we would stop them. In overtime and win the game, or we'd have a chance. Let's say, hey, make sure we have a shot at the end zone. If I could go back, like I said, after the game, I'd have called a timeout with 30 seconds and had two shots in the end zone. So there you go. I, 
co- coach is admitting right here, which is a breath of fresh air. Coach is admitting right here, hey, I, I played tight. I, I coached tight. I, I, too many things happened in the Maryland game and Minnesota, right? Like too many, too many games where we have kind of flubbed up. And so I, I wanted to, I, I didn't want to throw that interception. Notice that he said that. I didn't want to throw that interception. That was in his mind, just like it was in everybody else's mind. Because you're lying to yourself if you weren't thinking that. Chubba was playing a great game. Does not mean that the rest of us weren't going, here we go, here we go, here we go. Please don't, please don't mess up. Please don't. Don't fumble, don't fumble, don't fumble. Don't throw an interception. Please, please, God, please, God. Right? We, we were all thinking it. And Coach was too. And so he's not thinking about taking shots at the end zone. He's just like, we let us live to see another down. Let's put it on our defense. And I understand let's put it on our defense. But at the same time, in the defense played well. I mean, get, come on. They, they held them to 17 points. Like, that's that's a – that's a good defensive performance. Like it's not, it's not incredible. It's it's average, but it's still serviceable to get you to win the game. The downside is, and then he goes on to talk about, well, you know, even in over overtime, we had we held them to third longs. We even held them to a fourth down in overtime, but it didn't mean anything because they ultimately won the game. The defense played hard. I'm not saying that. But you can't play scared. And he talks. He talked about that. And I have this video. It'll be right up here where you can go watch it, where I talk about, did, did he lie when he said, I, I just want the guys to go out and play. I don't want them to play scared. I I think we're seeing right here him, him going, yeah, I'm a, I'm a human being. Like, I, I second guess myself. I'm, I, I say these things, and I believe them. But when the rubber meets the road, oh, am I going to live by that? Because last time, it hurt me. And it's easy for us to play armchair quarterback, right? It's easy for us to be like, oh, yeah, well, of course you should have went for it. Of course you did it. Of course you should be calling timeouts and not leaving any. We, we could do that all day. But at the end of the day, he's like, I, I wish I would have called the timeout and given us two shots at the end zone. Me too. But guess what? It didn't happen. That's all right. Let's go get Iowa. So, a lot of good stuff in that press conference. And again, just very thankful for Matt Rule and his, man, he's just, he's such a good communicator. He's very open. He's honest. And I appreciate that about him. And so with that being said, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, uh, would you like it? Would you consider subscribing and uh, hanging out with me more? I'm going to be doing a live stream during the Iowa game, giving a live reaction as it's going. And so if you're going to be at a, uh, at a Black Friday deal and you want to just kind of tune in and put in a headphone as you're out shopping the the uh the deals i'm going to be going play by play and doing instant action and, and and trying to create some community would love for you to join me have some comments uh but yeah thanks so much for tuning in we'll see you soon